Augmented reality is the new big buzzword in tech and media circles. It adds a whole new dimension to media experiences and changes the way you interact with apps. But is it just a fad or is it here to stay? Let's find out. Augmented reality is likely to be particularly big in the world of mobile. You'll be able to use your phone as an extra kind of lens, most notably using location-based services and accelerometers in your device. That way, the lens can view extra rich content and whatever medium you're viewing. So for instance, you could see a movie poster and by pointing your phone at it, instantly locate the nearest cinema where it was showing and even book tickets. Just by holding up your phone, you could search the neighborhood around you for the closest coffee shop or even bring a static newspaper to life with videos and image carousels. The options are limitless. AR has become quite prevalent. So the last few years, a few isolated examples, but literally this year to date, it's booming. Like for example, Texan Magazine are running AR across four of their titles. The adoption rate is huge. If you look internationally with the Belay AR Augmented Reality app, they've got over 38 million downloads worldwide across 200 countries. And just in 2013 alone, they had 175,000 interactive pages across 80,000 interactive campaigns. The whole idea is that you download layer for a particular reason, maybe a film festival or an event, or you see it in a, in, a, in a magazine. And the whole idea is that you see in your everyday life call to actions. You know, you go and read for your newspaper and there's an article on last night's um, show, and you can see extra footage or behind the scene video of the artist. You go and you have a business meeting and somebody hands you a business card and it's interactive. You see the entire interactive CV. Um, you go and read through a magazine, you can actually purchase an item just by a tap of a button. I think AR is going to be around for a while. Maybe not the way that we know it as now, um, because it will definitely change the face of it in the future. So right now we know about um, interactive print and making the engaging experience with magazines and newspapers. Um, but I mean, three, five years from now, it's going to be completely different. The emergence of wearables, for example, like Google Glass. Um, the, the scene from Minority Report is going to become a reality. Whether or not it sticks around in its current form, it's likely to be with us in many forms. The Oculus Rift and Google Glass are great examples of new technologies that are reliant on successful augmented reality implementation. The world is bound to get more interactive. So it's very easy for the user to use AR. Um, you go to the Layer website and you register yourself as a Layer creator and it's a free account and you can publish free augmented reality campaigns. It's literally a drag and drop interface and you can make anything interactive, any, any image interactive and overlay it with videos, call to actions, go to websites, download an app and literally the world's your oyster. Whether augmented reality is your thing or not, it's important to remember that it's a technology that's still in its infancy. Like the humble palm pilot that ushered in the world of tablets. It's got a way to go until it's quite as ubiquitous as smartphones.